So starting off CNC break number 17,142 SPX, three box break. Like again, that's just that's just the way my brain works. Is the first thing I think about is like, well, what's wrong with the other case that's not wrapped? <laughs> We start off with a Super Scripts rookie, Nick Robertson. Can anyone let me know if you guys like the idea though? Like, is it something you guys think that we could eventually mold ourselves to or something? Morgan Geeky Scripts for the Canes. Obsidian Scripts. And that's, again, my mentality, Golden, is it's almost like you're saying that it's a problem. So here, like, I don't know. It just it comes across weird to me. Finite Rookies, Ty Della Andrea. Which is also weird. Like, why, why does it have to be extra cost? I understand the manpower goes involved. Verena for the Caps. Yeah, I was—I don't understand the value of that. It should, uh, to me, and again, straight up, guys, this is my opinion. To me, they should be buying from you because you're an integrity company. I, I shouldn't have to go above and beyond to prove, per se, that I'm in—you know—I'm not ripping you guys off. And if I were to go above and beyond, I don't understand why I have to charge more for that. Just have it as a—what is wrong with the camera lately? Have it as a service. Just. We'll wrap all the cases. They're certified fresh from us type thing. I just don't understand the logic of wrapping some cases, but not all your cases then. We've got a two ninety nine McKinnon for the Avalanche. That's what baffles me. We've got a base auto, Zach Hyman. Yeah, I, I just don't, I'm, I saw it and I was like, okay, that's interesting because, you know, might be something worthwhile down the road. We've got a rookie jersey, Lafreniere. Rookie jersey. I'm just curious, and if anyone has an answer, how they're proving that case is fresh case though. How can you prove it without literally showing it come from like, the shipping truck <laughs> directly and you film the entire thing right when you grab it and an obsidian jersey to 399 Mikey Anderson and here's my thinking the other thing and this is what would scare the crap out of me upper deck has not always been the best on collation what happens if I wrap hypothetically a black diamond case and let's just say, say for the sake of this conversation, you're supposed to get one guaranteed diamond per case. And that case does not have it. Do they state anything on that? Like, we will guarantee you the entire money back if it's not fully everything in there? Like, what if you did that with SBA, for example, when they had the no auto cases? Or no auto boxes? Dre Seidel, $2.99. Uh, Webble 2, they'll get some from, uh, direct, and they'll get some from distributors in the U.S. This is gonna be sexy! Number to 35, Obsidian Patch, Jason Robertson! So they should be able to get it, if I had to guess, it'd be from GTS and then, uh, Upper Deck Directly. Like, from us, we get it from Universal, and then Universal gets it from Upper Deck directly. So, my point is, like, that's what I'm saying, is I don't understand the value of wrapping it then, like, I don't think it's tampered with from Upper Deck. We've got number to 375, Rookie Jersey Auto of Colsar. And, yeah, BBCE was the one who had the Pokemon case wrapped that was junk. But that's my... My honest thought, though, is what happens if somebody does open their wrap case and the contents are not fully there? 
And we got a Kaliev rookie jersey. L.A. Kings.